Hey guys, Jessica here, the furry family coach. I'm going to give it just a minute to let y'all join me on this live video. And I've got these cute little kitty ears on. Um, I think it said something about changing my voice. So I don't know if it's changing my voice or not. We'll see. I might turn it off. I don't know. Let's see. Do you like it? Let me know. Ooh, there are all kinds of different ones. Let's see. Nah, I like the kitty ears. I like the kitty ears. Oh, it says it's changing my voice, so maybe let me take that off. Okay, there we go. Hey, thank you for joining me. My name is Jessica. I'm the furry family coach. If you don't know me, I am a force-free follow. Blah, 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 force-free positive methods dog trainer um so we talk about a lot of different things we talk about dog training we talk about dog behavior we talk about your cats sometimes um we talk about dog health we talk about dog nutrition um in this video let's talk about heartworms um heartworms suck like it's probably one of the worst things your vet can tell you is that your dog has heartworms is terrible and I'm sorry I I'm to I got my voice back yesterday from the cold I have so I'm still like really trying to hydrate like super hydrate so excuse me okay there we go sorry about that this is live so we're talking about heartworms today and um I was recently asked about dogs getting heartworms even though they've been on preventative their entire lives <clears throat> um where i am now in san diego i don't worry much about it because we don't really have mosquitoes here i mean i don't know maybe since we've been here i've seen a couple maybe i don't know in the years so we don't really have mosquitoes here so it's not really that big of an issue where i live so it's not um something that our veterinarian like pushes heartworm preventatives on everybody that that's not how it is however i'm from virginia and there mosquitoes are bad i mean not the worst they could be because the further south you go the worse they go like in the southeast of the country is probably you know some of the worst um i've heard in australia they are like horrendous um, but, um, in the United States, um, the Southeast, I think is, is where they are the worst. And if you look at maps of reported cases of heartworms in dogs and they show like in the, the entire United States, the, you know, Southeast is definitely the worst. And, um, so I'm, I'm kind of from that area. Um, so what happens? What are heartworms and why are we talking about them? So I was asked about heartworms and I had to do a little research and I highly, highly recommend you doing research on heartworms as well because, um, not just to learn about heartworms, but to learn how to do research online is really important. And I think it's something that we lack a lot of um, today in, in our society, there is a smorgasbord of information online, but how do you tell what's real and what's not? How do you tell what's true and what's false? Um, is, is a, I mean, it's learned. It's something that you, you have to go through. You have to figure it out. You have to figure out what sources you trust. You have to figure out, um, you know, what blogs you may trust. And how do you do that? It's by looking at uh, the resources that that blog writer is using or the credentials of that blog or, you know, some of these blogs actually have veterinarians who guest write for them. So look into that person and um, where they work. Are they a holistic veterinarian? So there's lots of things um, to kind of get you through how to do research online and um, so you just got to get that, get out there and start doing it. So in my research online, I did find that in fact, just because your dog is on a preventative for heartworms doesn't mean that they will not get heartworms. Um, the cycle is kind of interesting. So what has to happen, there's 
certain mosquitoes, not all mosquitoes, certain type of mosquito, excuse me, I'm still like <sighs> trying to get my breath back <laughs> from this cold I have. I'm, so I'm trying to, I need to slow down in my talking so that I can breathe better. Sorry about that. But basically, there's a certain type of mosquito that can carry um, a heartworm. And it seems to be the female mosquito that has the ability to, um, what has to happen is that mosquito has to bite a dog already infected with the, um, they're called microfilaria, and I'm not 100% sure that I'm saying that right, but that's what it looks like to me, microfilaria, and basically they're immature heartworms. So these microfilaria are in the bloodstream of the dog. So the female mosquito has to bite a dog that has these microfilaria, um, immature heartworms in the bloodstream. And then that same mosquito has to then go and bite another dog that is not affected yet. And what happens when a mosquito bites is they actually um, inject before they suck out. So they then infect that unaffected dog with the microfilaria, which are the um, immature heartworms. Now these microfilaria are in the bloodstream of the dog and they take approximately six months to travel around and um, finally find their way to the right side of the heart. Once they get there, they develop into mature heartworms. Um, and I didn't start off by asking you guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, I want to know who you are and why you're here and how you are interested um, in heartworms. So if you could just drop your uh, comment below, say hi, so I know you're here. I'd appreciate it. Um, definitely want that interaction with you guys because that's why I'm here. I'm here to help you out. So, um, takes about six months for this mar these microfilaria to travel through the entire system of the dog and finally end up in the right side of the heart where they develop into mature um, adult heartworms and then of course they breed like crazy well the microfilaria already they're breeding like crazy so um they can really fill out your dog's heart with worms very quickly really really horrible stuff one um of the the best things we can do um the best treatment in this case is prevention so um the heartworm drugs that you get from your veterinarian which can come in different forms, sometimes tablets, sometimes like little chewables. So the best treatment is prevention. So heartworm drugs that your veterinarian gives you, they don't actually prevent heartworms from entering your dog. They only will kill the larva that are already existing in your dog system if they um, are already in your dog. So I have my notes down here. I'm gonna just move those over. So, uh, symptoms, let's talk about some symptoms of heartworms. Um, let's see, symptoms, I've got my list here. And I'm gonna give you some resources too, so you can um, do some research on your own. Symptoms, poor appetite, weight loss, listlessness, um, which is being tired or lethargic, depression, coughing, gagging, shortness of breath, intolerance to exercise, and collapsing. So again, I highly recommend if you even think your dog might have heartworms, please take your dog to your veterinarian ASAP. Um, they're really horrible. You don't want your dog to have it. So, um, okay. So let's go from there. And I do want to emphasize to everybody. Um, and I started off the video telling you a little bit about myself. I am not a veterinarian. Um, I am just providing this research for you. What we were talking about is that prevention is is the best treatment for heartworms, right? So I uh, let's see, what can we do about prevention? So we've already talked about how the heartworm medication that you get from your veterinarian um, doesn't necessarily prevent heartworms. 
And the way that that heartworm medication works, it actually can really damage your dog's body as well. It attacks the, the nervous system of the heartworm. And in doing so, it also attacks the nervous system of your dog. So it can, it has lots of really awful side effects. So you definitely want to do your research. Um, if you are giving your dog heartworm prevention now, definitely talk to your veterinarian about it. Um, some of the best prevention, and um, this isn't, you know, 100%, but some of the best prevention that we can provide to our dogs is a healthy immune system. That's um, the diet, your dog's diet, a species appropriate, a species specific biologically appropriate diet um, is definitely going to help your dog a lot in this area because we wanna make sure your dog's immune system is top notch. That's going to be the best prevention for heartworms. Um, so diet, exercise, and the environment. So um, let's see, you can also, I, I, if you know, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know how much I love Animalio. And Animalio has a really great um, essential oil blend, which is veterinary tested and approved safe for your animals that, um, and she has a, a recipe on her website to make a spray that is going to help repel um, mosquitoes and other bugs. So that's something you can think about too. Um, but definitely talk to your vet about it. And what I really want to stress here is not just any vet. I, I want to stress to talk to a holistic veterinarian, a holistic veterinarian about prevention of heartworms or if your dog has heartworms or if you suspect your dog may have heartworms um, for treatment of heartworms because there are not only are holistic prevention methods for heartworm, but there are also holistic treatments for heartworm. The typical drug that um, most veterinarians are going to give your dog if your dog does have heartworms, um, even the drug maker, I think it's Merrick, even the drug maker themselves say it's minimally safe. So they're even saying it's really not even safe for your dog. And granted, if your dog has heartworms and it's your only option, then that's what you have to do. But you can reach out to a holistic veterinarian because holistic treatments are available. Um, things like, uh, and you can check out heartwormfree.com. That's a really great site if you think your dog has heartworms. Check out the information there. Um, uh, Dr. Pitcairn is a very, uh, a, a big proponent of garlic um, for holistic treatment of heartworms. So there's a lot of great information out there that I do want to uh, make sure I'm just putting like the bug in your ear to do some more research. If you are using a preventative um, for your dog, if you're giving them heartworm preventative medication, um, do some research and see what other options you may have that are going to be more beneficial to the overall health of your dog. Um, it's really important that we do that because we are our dog's um, voice, right? So we have to take care of them. Um, all right, guys. So with that, I, oh, I talk more and, and we were talking about, you know, the, the best prevention is or the best treatment is prevention and a lot of that prevention is going to be making sure your dog's immune system is um the tip top notch right the best it can be so making sure you're providing providing all the biological needs to your dog is something i talk about um a lot in my new ebook which you can get yourself a copy. It's Seven Miracle Steps to, talk, to Dog Training. I talk a lot about the biological needs of your dog and you can get it at, let's see if I can get this on the screen, bit.ly slash seven steps dog training. Um, the biological needs of your dog are incredibly important um, and we definitely want to make sure we take care of them. And once you start realizing and understanding that, um, you know, taking care of your dog's needs are um, going sometimes going above and beyond uh, traditional Western medicine and seeking out holistic medicine. Um, the uh, AHVMA, American Holistic Veterinary Medical Association, is a great resource on this to help you find a holistic veterinarian in your area. 
Um, and also guys, any questions that you may have about dog training, dog behavior, dog nutrition, um, you know, it's about cats. Let me know and post them in the comments. I would love to help answer them for you. I can even do a video and uh, answer those questions for you. So with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this live video. Thank you so much for being with me today. Make sure you follow me on social media. And with that, I will see. Oh, and don't forget to grab your copy of Seven Miracle Steps to Train Your Dog. B-I-T dot L-Y slash Seven Steps Dog Training. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.